Hi Aries, this is your horoscope for December 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Now, December starts with a conjunction between Mars, your ruler, which is in Pisces at 11 degrees, and it conjuncts Neptune, which is at 13 degrees in Pisces, and these two join forces until the 17th of December. So the first two weeks of December are really governed by these two planets. Mars, your ruler, likes being in your sign because it's able to progress on a practical level and really just move forward. When it's in Pisces, it's incredibly frustrated because Mars, the red planet, the fire planet, in water, it, it doesn't feel comfortable and it's forced to look at spiritual avenues of progress. Now the good news is that Neptune is sitting right on top of it at 13 degrees, which is four, which creates a kind of stable access to the unmanifest, to the other side, so that if you do go within and you ask yourself the big questions, if you're an Aries who's kind of at a place in life where you're thinking, you know, what is all of this about? I've suffered and what have I learned from that? Where do I want to go in future? What does my life really look like? How can I add meaning to my life? And how can I really do something work-wise that I love and that fulfills me and that also pays me a decent wage? So for you, Aries, this kind of introspection isn't your favorite thing to do, I would guess. But the first two weeks will really give you an opportunity to delve into the other side or to kind of look within and you'll be able to retrieve your life purpose or what you're meant to do if you're dissatisfied with your life okay so that is a really good opportunity here that you've got for the first two weeks of december on the third of december venus the planet of love and beauty goes into scorpio from Libra into Scorpio. So Venus in Scorpio is incredibly intense and it feels things very, very powerfully. So you will be looking at yourself for the first two weeks here, but Venus is sitting in the eighth house and the eighth house is you in connection with groups of people that are organized. So a government, a school, a company, uh, charity, anything like that. And you're going to suddenly really have a clear vision of what you think of that institution, whether you should put more effort in and really commit to it, or you decide that I don't like doing this anymore and what was I thinking and I need to change track completely. So whichever way it goes, you're going to be informed by your feelings and you're going to feel those very strongly. Venus stays in Pisces, in Scorpio, sorry, for the rest of the month. So lots of kind of inward looking energy and lots of intense emotions coming up for you in December, which isn't always a bad thing because you learn from those and then you really know what you want. So we have to face these uncomfortable kind of research missions a time so that we can create the life we want to build for ourselves. On the 6th of December, hooray, Mercury, the communication planet, goes direct. So it's been in retrograde since the 16th of November and it goes direct in your 8th house. So again, it adds clarity to a group you belong to, a job you do, um, a religion that you belong to, and it really gives you razor sharp clarity in terms of, is this nourishing me on a spiritual level? Mercury is at 27 degrees when it goes direct here on the 6th of December. Two and seven is nine. Nine is spirituality and completion. So Mercury will guide you towards what is right and what feeds your soul. And you're going to naturally move away from things that don't feed your soul. And you'll be kind of 
magically guided towards things that do make you feel more alive. On the 7th of December, we have the new moon in Sagittarius, and that happens in your ninth house of travel, higher education, broadening your horizons, learning new things, connecting with the other side, and in between this new moon, a new moon is when the moon and the sun sit together and the moon is pitch black. So I'll make a separate video on the new moon and full moon this month um, to go into more details. But for you, Aries, the midheaven sits in between this new moon. So a lot of Sagittarian energy is going to be pulled in and it's going to give you the kind of energy to say, hey, I want to explore something new work-wise and doesn't mean you have to quit your existing job but you may find something else that you're fascinated by and you start to look into it and it can become a job. If you're fascinated by something and it, you can turn it into work then please do that because if you love what you do, the old saying of you'll never work another day in your life if you love what you're doing. It's like play. So expect a lot of fiery energy to come in on the 7th. As an Aries, you're a fire sign. You can use this energy really, really well. It's like you have a diesel car and diesel is being put into your car and you're zooming off. Jupiter, the lucky planet, is also in Sagittarius in that ninth house. So good luck is on your side. So there will be opportunities for you to make changes in your work based on this personal clarity that you get in December and you can move forward. Very nice. On the 13th of December, the communication planet Mercury joins Jupiter in the ninth house and it goes into Sagittarius. So now you really start to look to the future. You've really kind of settled on something that you want to change in your working life and you're looking at how you're going to implement that now and it's a good time to look ahead the problem the problem <laughs> with mercury in sagittarius is that it's not so interested in the details and practical matters it's just interested in the end result the, the end product you know you as this super famous, amazing, and applauded person. But how do you actually get there? What steps do you need to take? So be aware that you're not gifted around the 13th of December with practicality. What you're gifted with is vision for the future. So embrace that vision and go with it. The details usually take care of themselves. If you have a goal, then you'll find out how to take each step as it comes along on your journey. Now, for the next 10 days or so, from the 13th of December until the 22nd of December, most of the energy is in your 12th house, in your 9th, and in your 10th. So the 12th house continues this soul search and going within and really understanding yourself better than you have at any other time this year, really. And that gives you the opportunity to change your working life, to broaden your horizons and to move on and to upgrade and to do something that you're happier with. So from the 13th until the 22nd, do that research and look into the future and what you would like it to be. On the 22nd, we have the full moon in Cancer. And again, I'm going to make a separate video on this. For you, it happens in your fourth house of family so the full moon is when the moon is totally illuminated and it showers you with energy. So you're being showered with Cancerian energy. And the good news is that it's in your fourth house of family. So you're going to absolutely love and adore your family, even the ones you don't like so much. <laughs> you're going to be really, really generous. And that bodes very, very well for you going into Christmas because you're in a very nurturing compassionate loving mode so on the 23rd 24th the moon is still in your fourth house on the 25th it goes into leo in your fifth house so then it's about having fun with 
the kids and having fun with family. So as far as you and Christmas is concerned, you really, everyone's going to want you there because you're going to be fun and you're going to be nurturing, caring, and you're going to be everyone's favorite guest. So good for you, Aries. You're going to have a wonderful Christmas. Now also on the 22nd of December, the sun goes into Capricorn. So happy birthday, Capricorn. And the sun is next to your transiting midheaven, Saturn and Pluto in your 10th house of career. Now Capricorn is the sign of the worker, of setting a goal and taking the practical action to get there. So from the 22nd onwards, you stop dreaming, you stop looking to the future, you now know what you're doing and you hit the ground running and you start to take action here at the end of 2018, which is going to lead you into 2019. And I really think that your main focus going into 2019 is going to be to make changes to your work so that you can thrive and that your work is an expression of who you are internally and also that you find more independence in your work. So set those goals. You will be able to achieve them if you put in the legwork. New Year's Eve, again, the energy is still in your 10th, 12th, and now you've got Uranus in your first. So have fun, enjoy yourself. You'll get ideas and um, inspiration by enjoying yourself and you really start the year off on a positive note, on a positive footing, and you have a clear kind of step-by-step -step vision of what you're gonna do. So super productive month for you, life-changing when it comes to work. And family-wise, you also don't have any problems. So it's a really lovely month for you, Aries. So I hope that gives you something to go on. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my personal readings, I use the astrology, tarot, and numerology, and I combine them all. I draw up your birth chart by using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. That gives me a blueprint of your soul. It's a snapshot of the sky at the moment you were born. And it tells me what your life purpose is, where you've been in past lifetimes, what your vocational talents are, what's destined for you in love and relationships and health and career and spiritual progress. And I can answer any questions you may have. So if you're interested, please get in touch via the website gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings to order your reading. Please subscribe to this channel if you like my videos and I'll speak to you soon.